Hey guys, this is Azrael back here on Gentechi.net trying out painstakingly professional Kate again, rocking Gagarin as our opponents in this game. So definitely not a keeping starting hand, although Plasquit's always a bit of a good thing against Gagarin, but when I see Gagarin these days, we really are thinking museum, we're thinking horizontal type decks. What we really want to see is Astrolabe, which we don't, but we do see Katie and we do see professional contacts, which is pretty nice actually. So he kept his hand and is actually overdrawing here, which is interesting. So draw ice ice, not a terrible start. We'll definitely kind of jump on the slow train here, get professional contacts out and start to build up. So really, we just need to be careful with our economy this game. If he is going to start going horizontal, um, we need to just be, pick our trash as well. Um, Definitely expecting the, the, the possibility, at least, of um, Bioethics Association. So the chance that um, the one net shield we're running could see play here. Okay, really want to dig for this Astrolabe. Oh, he's actually going to go ahead and Hostile Takeover straight up the bat, which brings uh, Archer um, into play straight away, which is obviously a little bit nerve-wracking. So let's just keep digging. Okay, we're not really seeing much of what we want. This Katie we could play, but I do want to keep on stalling as we go, so... Yeah. So we're not having a bad start here. I mean, these are good cards, but I really want the Astrolabe as soon as possible. We are actually running three. Because I slotted the net shield, and we're running actually 11 different programs on Icebreakers, I wanted to have the, the option there to really have the memory almost as a guarantee in a game. And because we're seeing so many horizontal decks now, I thought going to the third Astrolabe to try and guarantee getting it reasonably early was, was a reasonably solid choice. Could potentially try and sneak out an agenda here. I'm aware of that. But I don't think we want to bite. If we go down to you know an Atlas here, it's not the worst in the world. Film Critic could be okay. Dirty Laundry is actually not bad here. We could go check one of these. Only leaving us with three credits to trash, but not the worst in the world. If we hit a snare, it'd be pretty bad, but I'm okay with it. Let's go poke around here and see what we find. Oh, we do have a bad publicity as well, actually. I forgot about that, thanks to the hostile takeover. We have to pay a credit to access. We're going to see Grendel. I am okay to trash that, actually. Uh, we'll just continue to money up here. So seeing a reasonable amount of our money early, which is pretty good. Dirty Laundry is great in this instance. Come on, Astrolabe, where are you, buddy? We want you. We want you. More money is pretty good. Oh my goodness, uh, I don't need quite this much, but all right. Uh, I really feel like I want to check these, but I'm going to let it go. We are running two indexing, two maker's eyes, so we can put some serious pressure um, on R&D. So again, Bioethics Association is a real concern here. Um, PAD is fine, public support nah, is not great. So this might be a more traditional Gagarin deck, just trying to really limit the runner's economy, but right now we're doing pretty well economy-wise. Once we get this caddy down, it'll start to help us as well. Parasite's not great here. We are going to go and check this, actually. Let's see. I think he might feel like he's comfortable enough to get an agenda um, out, because we haven't been running that forcibly. Uh, we will trash the Mumba Temple, actually. Yeah, we do not want that hanging around. I'm going to put out the caddy and start building her up because we're going to need her. We're absolutely going to need the long-term economy here. So we continue to check everything. You know, we, we, we limit the impacts of things like Museum and Mumba Temple from really getting the game um, spiraling out of control. But it's a fine balance between that and bankrupting myself. The bad publicity, actually, that's going to help. I mean, it's basically nullifying Gagarin's ability, so I'm not sure how good you know scoring this hostile takeover early was. 
Uh, I think we're going to have to go and get the uh, public support killed here. And we are burning through. I mean, all of our sure gambles are going to be gone. We're still going to have one daily cast and two dirty laundry, which is good. Forcing the early Jackson, which I'm okay with. There are two face down cards in archives, so I feel like I could probably run archives and pop the Jackson without having to pay a credit to access it. At least that's what I hope. And I think I'm just going to continue to check servers here. This is where we could fall prey to something like a snare or a psychic field and um, if you know we are running a lot and he sees that and um, the museum yeah we'll get rid of that no oh, maybe we should have run archives first potentially but we're going to go there now pops the jackson so three face downs i'd like to see him take all three face downs back ideally i don't wouldn't like him to see returning stuff back that we've already done he does do museum and two face down so that's okay that's not bad and we reveal a dedication ceremony okay fair enough and we haven't talked katie this turn mm, this net shield is it really going to see play probably not so let's just go have i talked katie this turn? i don't think i have i think i drew run run yeah, so let's just top up Kitty and let's just drop the net shield. I don't think missing any opportunity here to get money is a good call. Right now, he's not seen a huge amount of his economy. He hasn't seen any hedge funds. Anything really to boost him past. This pad campaign is taken over. We could go and trash it, but... I'm not sure how good that is for us. So we've got to think he's going to have an agenda or two in his hand at this stage. And we're just going to keep checking. Just keep going. Um, obviously I do have concerns around traps and we haven't seen any influence yet. But we're just going to keep keeping him honest here. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've got to get rid of that and stop and fast advancing. Even though we are running clot, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. So yeah, he's running a bit of a fast advance deck, so potentially spending his influence on something like biotics. And this this Caddy Jones, this one of Caddy Jones, I'm really happy to have slotted here. I think without it right now, we'd really be struggling. Just knowing that we have those credits to back up and use is, is such an advantage. So he's overdrawing again. And installing again, okay. I mean, I feel like we've probably got him at the point now where he thinks we're going to just run everything. So I'm not sure if we need to run this one. But I'm going to simply because of the bad publicity. Knowing that I'm not even having to really pay a credit here. Turtlebacks. Yeah, that's got to go. I'm not being very um, subjective, I'm not, I'm not being very specific, I'm really just trashing everything, uh, which I'm not sure if this is a great idea, but that's the kind of security that having Katie gives you. Or Caddy. Um, dirty laundry is good, that encourages me to potentially go get the pad campaign. So what do we think this is on R&D? It's probably a Chrisium good, right? I mean... Realistically, it protects him against indexing Maker's Eyes. We are running one Notoriety, which it would help against as well. So we can assume he shuffled back one, if not two, agendas. Now he's drawn a little bit more with Jackson. I'm probably going to look to Dirty Laundry the Archives here and see if I can force a second Jackson out of the game. Not seeing any of our three Astrolabes is pretty sad. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like we're still doing okay. Oh, ten click back. Just changing his mind about what he wants to install. He's actually installing a piece of ice. Okay. I mean, right now we haven't installed anything. We've been quite lucky, in fact, not to see a lot of kind of useless breakers here. Um, or programs that we don't want to take advantage of. 
So three face down cards, it's probably worth a check. Yeah, let's go head to archives. See if we can force this Jackson. Which we do, which is great. So two Jacksons out of the game is fantastic for us. I don't overly care what this is in server 11. Not really. So Turbax and two face down cards go back. And we see a swordsman, all right. So our first little glimpse of influence. Am I being greedy, greedy going to 18 credits in Caddy Jones? I think I am. Snatch and grab, we can fight the trace. So, you know, I'm not concerned about that. But I think potentially I just take it now because it's getting a little bit on the on the boisterous side. And I'm going to pop down the artist colony or the film critic. Um, not sure which is the best here. I think I'll pop down the artist colony actually. I haven't got any agendas yet, but I feel like we're about to turn on the pressure. We really haven't been digging through our deck very hard. But once we start going, it's going to be good. And really, now I've got such a big uh, economic advantage that I can start running. <laughs> uh, he's also noticed the fact that we've seen pretty much all of our economy um, early on here. And he's trying to play the long game, which I think is right. He's actually protecting museum, which I think is A-OK -okay to do. <laughs> long game, ahoy. I love it. We do still have a levy, so we do we can spin the deck back around again uh, and go through a second time. Uh, carry and professional contacts will really kind of keep us tidying through at least for the the mid game here until we get to that point. So I'm not too concerned, but I do think these 37 credits are going to go pretty quickly as we start to continue to trash stuff. Really missing the astro right now, the astro lube. Oh, very much so. Okay, so I think we're just gonna go and start checking these. Yeah, that's going. I think we're just gonna continue to rampage through with the trashing. Uh, yep. <laughs> so, you guys can tell me what you think about this. I just don't feel like these cards I'm killing, I, I can't allow to live. Um, get a lady out. And already we just spent a huge chunk of cash there. But having the Caddy Jones just gives us a much stronger long game than relying purely on event economy uh, on its own in the daily cast supporting. I just really wish we had this astrolabe. That being said, I mean, the astrolabe would sort of negate the benefit of the professional contacts, but I think the, the amount of clicks it would see of us would just be phenomenal. And meanwhile, the agendas are just starting to, to build up. They're going to be building up an HQ. They're going to be starting to build up an R&D. We've only seen one so far. There's an Astrolabe, which is good. And yeah, I'm just going to trash it. I, uh, I don't think there's any reason not to just keep applying this pressure, don't let him get any economy going. This one pad campaign's taken over, which potentially I could actually go and actually grab. Uh, oh, so we're gonna see a dedication ceremony on the Grendel here, which is gonna give him a big economy boost. Nice, oh, that's a great combo. I do love that actually. Okay, Dave is good for us here. And all of a sudden, that one combo, that one Grendel Refinery dedicated response team nets him 11 credits for three clicks. Really not bad at all. You can't argue with that for two cards, three clicks. Uh, 
we do have a dirty laundry left. If we see the dirty laundry, we'll go and kill this pad. If we don't, I think I'm just going to leave it. So it looks like he's potentially building a scoring remote. We really would like to see our leg work now. Uh, I think that would be ideal. I mean, obviously we're just sitting along here, but I don't overdraw too much. I need to keep the economic advantage um, if he is potentially going for any sort of kill. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. So he fires down the Oak Town. I mean, assuming that we can't get in. Or does he want us to get in there and potentially uh, get deaded? Hmm. An interesting predicament here. I think what he could potentially res. I mean, an archer would be pretty bad, but David would protect us for the most part from that. Curtain wall assassin would be bad, but again, Davis kind of covering that base. I can't think of anything that would really legitimately keep us out of here. We could potentially end up having to clone chip self mod and bring something like the Gordian Blade out, which is very expensive if it is a large code gate, which is not ideal. But having the 12 credits sitting on Kelly Jones to kind of get back up and avoid um, losing any kind of tag traces, I think I'm all right with. We also do have the artist colony. Um, but we don't have an agenda for it just yet. Okay. I feel like I need to run it here. It's a tough one, actually. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go check it out. Um, itchy. So I think we probably just click, click and let them do the trace. So trace of one against a runner with one link's not the worst. And considering I have the credit advantage, this is there's really nothing you can put it to that kind of worries me too much here. So he has boosted it to six. Which seems a little odd. That's okay. We will boost by five. I think it makes sense to avoid that. And I can just take the credits off Katie. It just gives us that little bit of a financial buffer. So this server is a bit of a pain. Um, I do have net ready eyes, which I could pull out. We do have an Atman as well. Um, but until we sort of know what the rest of his ice is, I don't want to be dropping an Atman at four for sort of no reason. I don't think he'd try and sneak out an agenda here. We're checking everything pretty methodically. That being said, I don't want him even to get a single museum off. So let's go check it out. And this bad publicity is just doing so much work for us. Uh, if anybody watching can go back and tell me how many credits I have saved through accesses and bad publicity, I'd be elated. I might just parasite this HG actually. In fact, that is actually exactly what I'm going to do. And just let that slowly burn down. And I think it basically means that anytime we're running here, it's always going to be mimicable. And that makes that server a huge amount less threatening to us. More new servers, Astrolabe doing work. Still two more Astrolabes to see. There's a Dirty Laundry. Do we go and check out the pad campaign? I did promise you guys if I drew the Dirty Laundry, I would go and kill this pad campaign. I'd kind of like to rather use it on one of these other two servers. That being said, though, if one's a Jackson, we could kind of blow up in our face. Um, so I'll check these other servers first. We haven't seen our leg work yet. And just this early financial boon that we had and the way our deck kind of came around, it's enabled us just to stay just ahead continually. And he's having a real think here. Is this potentially a Jackson? 
if I could get the third Jackson out of the game. Oh, it is! Haha! <laughs> Good times. So, getting rid of the third Jackson is fantastic for us. He's looking at turtle backs, museum, museum. Probably just dirty laundry server 18 here now. I don't think there's anything that he could get rid of. I think Jackson's the only card that potentially could run that he could then cease to exist. You guys let me know actually if that's wrong. If there's any other cards that you sort of can dirty laundry in a remote with no ice in front of it and can cease to exist mid-run, please tell me. I think Jackson's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, Thomas Haas, I guess, could be one if you were really being cheeky, but uh, can't think of any other ones that see a lot of play. But he is thinking, actually, about letting me be successful here. Hmm. No? Okay. Hope this isn't a snare. Okay, Mumbai Construction, absolutely killing that. And I promised you guys I'd kill the power campaign, but I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna now. <laughs> uh, don't hate me, but I don't think I really wanna kill it. Um, boop, 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 boop. No, no, I don't wanna. Yeah, sorry guys, copping out. I don't really want to go and spend the credit. I know he's just getting so much from it. And four credits, considering I've got the one bad pub, is covering the access. Uh, I just, I, I need to hold a little bit of a larger credit lead, credit lead right now. I've got two clone chips for Inti and a self mod if we need it, so I'm happy to drop that. So yeah, I've seen very few agendas right now. Um, still seeing a lack of influence. We've just seen two in the Ichi, uh, one in the Swordsman, and that is it. So we could expect some more ice. And he's starting to advance what could be either space ice, could be a firewall, or just an ice wall. Space ice, I think, is the most likely option. And David deals with pretty much all of them except for Orion pretty well. I think Orion, Orion has three subs though, so I think it should deal with it just fine. And now all three Jacksons are gone. The archives with four face down cards is really curious. I might have to go and just have a poke to see what is in there. Clot we could throw out, but it's just gonna probably get wiped alongside this parasite. So I might throw it out after. And I think we just continue to, to chill. I might throw out this Plascrete. I don't think I'm gonna need it. So I'm going to put the film critic, drop the astrolabe, and just continue to, to sit back here. I do feel like a legwork is going to just reveal so much for us. I really don't want to be wasteful with my runs again. I'm happy just to sit and chill, wait for that legwork, wait for that sort of opportunity to pound R&D once I get rid of what I am assuming is a chrysium. We have drawn our deck in a very nice order here. Seeing all our money, not seeing too many programs. Uh, oh no, we're about to see him get a huge influx of dosh again. Ugh, that's horrible. And that gives him a very slight credit lead. Oh, that's an awesome combo. It's so strong. Okay. Clock gonna be any good here? Could be. It's not gonna be any good in our hand, so let's just chuck it in the bin. So I'm trying to think, is he running biotic labors as a fast advance option? That's what I'm expecting. Seeing the Mumbai construction companies, you know, makes me think fast advance. Trashing these for three without him rezzing was not Fantastic for us, but even letting him get a single advancement counter on these would hurt. Oh, so we have got an install and another. And this server, I feel like, is probably worth running now, but he does that on the turn where we just got rid of the Ichi, so it's probably just something like a Mumba Temple, maybe just a museum again? We've just got to be careful of credits as well here, because it's very tight right now. Ah, 
So he's resin the Mumba, which he might then... Ah, he's going to reuse to res the museum. Okay, so it's kind of what I expected. Um, which is fine. He paid one for one, so actually I don't think that really did anything for him. Um, but I, I've got to run here. I, just, I can't I can't ignore it. The only downside is the Atlan sitting in my hand, which I'm not a fan of. But we're going. We have to go. We have to kill this museum. We can't let him start shuffling stuff back into his deck. Tour guide is absolutely fine here. It's just two credits with two res assets, so that's fine. I suppose that strengthens the reason to, to res the museum. And we could just we could have just recurred the parasite actually for the same cost. Uh, in fact, I wonder if you'll let me do that. In fact. Yeah, and killing it with Parasite is better. So he's already saying he think he should concede. I'm assuming his hands full of agendas. So he's sort of saying exactly what we were kind of talking through. He had a bit of a bad opening. He didn't get his assets really in any order that he wanted and couldn't get anything going with the turtlebacks. Um, so he's actually just conceding the game there, which I think um, is a little sad to kind of have it end that early considering only 2-1 up. But I think realistically with 18 cards left in his deck, um, and we're assuming at least another, if he's running hostile takeovers, 8 to 9 agendas floating about, um, his hand at least has to have 2 or 3 all Jacksons throughout the game. He's about to lose another museum. He just was in a position where it wasn't going to be claw back. And I really think the star player here is Caddy Jones. We still had a levy available and we still could have started to look to put pressure elsewhere. And this economy was only really useful to him if he could keep me out um, repetitively by forcing me to rerun with Ashes or giving me the likes of a kill um, fear there, which I just didn't have. So yeah, overall, very good game. This deck's performed well again. Still haven't got a chance to see it with Industrial Genomics or... NEH, so I might keep playing with it and seeing what else I can come up against to see how it does. The Artist Colony right now is the one card I think is probably getting dropped, um, but I'll, I'll sort of him and have a bit back and forth on that. So yeah, thanks so much guys. The list is down below if you want to have a look and please give me any feedback. I do appreciate it and I hope to see you guys in the next video.